I extend my hand of friendship to every member of this body. And to the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, I extend to you this gavel. ritual under the dome of this temple of democracy the capital of the united i'm particularly proud to be the woman speaker of the house of this congress which marks the 100th year of women having the right to vote <laughs> last night my comrade is an italian american to, uh, with that and that we all have the ability and the privilege to serve with over 100 women members of Congress, the largest number in history. <laughs> Legislative branch is Article One. The first, we have heard from too many families who wonder in this time of innovation and globalization if they have a place in the economy of the future. We must remove all doubt that they do and say to them individually, we will have an economy that works for you. And to the judiciary. We must also face the existential threat of our time, the climate crisis, a crisis manifested in natural disasters of epic proportions. The American people understand the urgency. The people are ahead of the Congress. The Congress must join them. Results for the people opening up opportunity, and lifting up their lives. We will debate and advance good ideas no matter where they come from. And in that spirit, Democrats will be offering the Senate Republican appropriations legislation to reopen government later today. <laughs> Too many families who wonder in this time of innovation and globalization if they... We will make our community safer and keep our sacred promise to the victims and survivors and families of gun violence by passing common sense, bipartisan, background check legislation. <laughs> Walker Bush, with eulogies, tributes, and tears. To Daddy. And when we're talking about the dreamers, let us remember what President Reagan said in his last speech as President of the United States. I, I urge you all to read it. It's a beautiful speech. He said, if we ever close the door to new Americans, our leadership role in the world will soon be lost. Ronald Reagan.